Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the new Ryzen 1700X build that I made just a few days ago, actually. Let's begin, okay? There's nothing really to say. So this is a $300, $400, actually, uh, $400 CPU. It's right below the top of the line Ryzen 7 CPU. It's, it's, uh, well... I wouldn't say it's exactly for gaming, I'm not sure that much. I haven't really looked at the reviews. I have another one here for the 1700 coming out pretty soon, probably tomorrow or something, so you should stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe if you want to be notified when that's on. Give this video a like if you want me to make more builds like this. Comment if you need any questions. Anyway, so let's get on to the build again. I chose the Ryzen 17X of... 1700X, actually. And yeah, so let's go ahead and let those load, and then we're gonna talk about all this stuff. And now we don't need to talk about that, so. This is the cooler I chose. It's actually an EVGA one. I found this EVGA cooler, and it's not that bad. For $90, it's very good. What I really like about it is the. What's it called? Smallness. It's not a 240, it's a. Uh, 120, so it's it's like a, it like can fit on the rear of your case, and I like that idea. And mainly, it has this RGB thing, so you can change colors. I'm not sure if it's RGB or if it's just you can select between these four colors, but either way, it's pretty cool. So that's that's good. And I just randomly decided to go with that because of it. I chose this motherboard because it's AM4 first of all, and this is probably the best. AM4 motherboard you can get currently, so I don't see anything wrong with throwing that in. Why not, so... This is a red and black themed build because it's Ryzen, so I threw in these red Ripjaw 5... 16 gigabytes, of course, is all you're gonna need. If you're doing any bigger content creation, you can, of course, just throw in a few more, just two more, and get 32. This is the boot drive, you only need 120 gigabyte. I chose Kingston because it's red and black. 1070. You can, of course, go with the Titan XP if you like, but I find this should be enough for gaming. You shouldn't need more than this unless you're, like, trying to get 200 frames per second, which is crazy, so... This is perfectly fine, and it's RGB, so it'll fit with whatever you're trying to make this be. This is the Corsair Crystal 460X, it's RGB again, and it's tempered glass all the way around, so this will be a very nice case to build in for this type of build. I went with this fully modular one because, well, it's fully modular, it's 650 watts, which is perfect. It doesn't have too bad of a sticker on the side, you can always peel that off. The cables are all black, and uh, that's pretty much it. What else? Yeah, then I threw in Windows 10, and in total it came out to be this price right there, so that's pretty much it. I also threw in a 1TB hard drive, and yeah, that's it, so hope you guys like this build. I, you can build this, I, I, I will guarantee you this will be a nice build to build. Nice build to build, yes, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Bye!